We both love hunting elk, but this week it's Dad's turn. That's right. Dad's been an elk guide for over 20 years, and this week he's the one hunting. The show starts right now. Remember crystal clear My first hunt with dad Chasing my first big buck mule deer With bright orange vest and old wool cap Hiking on tired legs Rightful slung across my back There's one memory that still stands out above the rest when daddy looked me in the eyes and said Shoe straight, son I know you can I pray, God will guide your head When your big chance comes around Push away all fear and doubt Take aim It's late afternoon here in Montana. Wind's blowing, we got a big storm going in. I was up glassing this morning. I spotted a herd of elk. They're moving up this draw. I let them bed, backed off. I'm moving back in, see if we can get close. I got a bull tag and a cow tag. Meet in the freezer, we'll see what happens. Marsh is running camera. We are excited about it. The boys are gonna sit back and glass for me from another point. And uh, that way, if I don't get on it, I'll meet up with them and see if we can find another one. Exciting stuff. bed today there's some in there it's a really good bull he went and went down the valley with several cows and then there's other cows right here behind me it's got about a 20 25 mile an hour wind so i don't want to take a real long shot i got my custom radar on 300 wind mag which is good but with wind drift we just got to see which way they're going to go and they're probably just going to stay in that bottom on the wind and feed Sometimes you gotta back off them and wait. Sometimes you gotta get a little aggressive. We're just gonna watch them for a little bit. Got about an hour before dark. There's a nice bull right there. It's working towards us. That's a beautiful thing. After glassing this area and spotting the herd of elk, now we're making a plan to try to close the distance. Several cows and, bull, and one bull down in there and a spike. The wind's blowing this way, so I'm just trying to assess, go up and around and get around them or back off till morning. We've got a big storm going, you never know what's going to happen. They're all kind of just standing there watching. This wind makes them really nervous. Shoot Straight is brought to you by CVA, Power Belt, Cabela's. Realtree Camouflage, Conus Optics, Buck Knives, Ratchet Straps USA, Hodgden Powder, 
Bitterroot Tool and Machine, Campfire Meals, Roper Apparel, The Butcher Block. Fish on! Come on, get together. CVA's nitride is a surface hardening process that makes our barrel steel so hard that rust cannot penetrate it, making them the only muzzle loader barrels guaranteed against rust damage inside and out. CVA, it's just a better gun. These are our Power Belt Platinum bullets, designed especially for Magnum charge. Platinums provide optimal on-game performance at higher velocities, making them the perfect choice for shooters who use a Magnum charge. Power Belt, America's number one muzzle loading bullet. I love cooking for my family, but after a long day of fishing and hunting, hiking and rodeoing, Campfire Meals makes my life easy. When you think of camping food, what comes to mind? How about meals like lasagna or chicken fettuccine alfredo? Just because you're roughing it, doesn't mean you have to eat like you are. Take Campfire Meals on your next trip. Remember, it's easy. And it tastes good too. Mmm. The new R8 means that Conus has done it again. One of the most exciting electronic sights you'll ever use with eight different reticle patterns including the Conus skull that you have to see to believe. Deadly accurate, rechargeable and assured to perform flawlessly. We guarantee it and that's for life. Conus, shoot like a pro. wind's blowing this way so I'm just trying to assess go up and around and get around them or back off till morning we got a big storm going you never know what's gonna happen they're all kind of just standing there watching this wind makes them really nervous before the break we had spotted a nice herd of elk there was a bull in there Chad wanted to go after however lots of wind in this canyon so we've got to make a plan Elk are right here at about 650 yards. Wind is howling. He's trying to figure out how to get around on them. As they're right on an open hillside, makes it really tough. We'll see what happens. Other thing I'm faced with, we got several mule deer that are right in that same draw. If I spook them, they're above them. They're gonna blow those elk out. It's a tough situation. But at least we're seeing elk. There's a nice bull right there. He's working towards us. That's a beautiful thing. It's a nice bull. I'm pretty sure he's a six. Glass in with my Conus binos. I got 12 power in this big open country here, which really helps. And he's just slowly feeding, working this way. He's probably about 550 right now. Not an unthinkable shot, but when you have this big of a crosswind, you want to try and stack the odds in your favor. He's a six. starting to move our way. Cows are about 480. We're going to ease up try and get set up just in case we can catch them before dark moving closer.
Sniper's got his butt to it. The only way Chad's going to be able to get a shot is to get in close. This wide open country in Montana, he's going to go ahead and go for it. We're losing light quick, so he's going to see if he can close the distance. Now it's time for the Straight Talk Tip of the Week, brought to you by RatchetStraps.com. Today I want to talk about a new scope from Konus. It's the Konus Pro F30. Now this is an incredible scope. It has a first focal plane, which is incredible when you're talking about scopes. There's also a lot of other great features that we're going to go over here in a second. But I want to tell you, whether you're a big game hunter or a varmint hunter, this is a great scope. It's also a great tactical scope. So let's look at some of the features that this has. First off, it comes with a four inch sunshade. So while you're hunting on those bright sunny days, they got you covered. Next, there's reticles placed on the first focal plane. Mid-size parallel wheel down to 10 yards. A 45 degree offset illuminator switch. Fully multi-coated optics. Flip up scope covers included built-in anti-canning bubble system and it's a true 30 millimeter tube throughout the whole scope locking tactical turrets which are truly a plus and one of the features i'm really happy about is it's waterproof and fog proof because i'm in all kinds of different elements so when you're looking for a new scope check out the new conus pro f30 <laughs> this is a new scope you might want to try out and that's your straight talk tip of the week This is a family legacy, so making sure that this company continues at the level of an American icon. It, it's more than just products, it is a heartfelt desire to inspire confidence in people so that if they're out on an adventure in everyday life, they've got a trusted companion that they can depend on. When there's a family name behind it, you just got to pay attention. Bitterroot Tula Machine is a full-service precision CNC machine shop. Specializing in design to production. Serving the aerospace, mining, munitions, and firearms industry. Also home of the grain maker. They specialize in custom reloading machines. Specialty services include engineering, stamping, tool and die, machining, grinding, powder coating, and parts assembly. Bitterroot Tula Machine, where their motto is, do right by the customer. Take the serious knockdown power of triple seven pellets.
of all the situations to be put in, the worst thing that can happen is when the cameraman or woman <laughs> and the shooter have to split up to make the stalk. That's right. You know, we lost contact with, with communication, and there's no way to have two-way communication, you know, while hunting in Montana. So I kind of was behind a tree and had to just hunker down, and you didn't know what I had, and I could not clearly see the elk, but I did not. I wanted you to take the shot if you had it. Well, and I snuck in on that bull, and it, as soon as I had the broadside shot, took it, hit him good, and that was so crazy. We had the one pasture fence that, that borders two different pastures on our property, and he just didn't have enough. I hit him so good that when he went to jump it, he just got caught in that fence. He got caught in it, but you know, we did the ethical thing with hunting. We are able to show you just like it happened, and harvest the animal, get the, all the meat taken care of, and get it into some, some homes of some needy families. So, it was a great hunt. You always do great on camera. <laughs> Thank you so much, honey. Come on in, boys. Good job, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got him. Oh, Good job. <laughs> That's awesome oh isn't that yeah. awesome? Good hey, job. Ted. <laughs> oh, look at this—a beautiful six-point. Did you guys see him drop? He, yeah. I hit him good, and he was coming, and he went to jump the fence. He couldn't, and blood was just pouring out of him. And just being the ethical hunter, I was like, I got to put one more in and finish him off. And he, when he dropped, he got that wire got all tangled up when he was dropping. So you folks get to see it. This is as real as it gets. This animal is dead on his feet. What a nice boy. Uh, Mom or Marsha was running camera tonight. So we're going to get this bull propped up and have her come in and let's talk about how awesome it is hunting together as a family and with friends it's just like family now let's join marcia with recipes from the field brought to you by campfire meals this week recipes from the field we're going to be fixing sloppy joes recently we were in pennsylvania and marilyn turner a good friend of ours made a big batch of sloppy joes they were delicious we're going to fix them here you can make a small batch for your family or you can make them for a large event that way you're ready either way. We've went ahead and took our burger. You can use deer, elk, moose, whatever wild game you have. We browned the burger with some onions and some salt to season it. We're also going to add in some spicy steak seasoning. So it's onions. And just add that spicy steak seasoning to the burger. To let that flavor sit in really good. The burger's all browned, ready to go. It's good and lean. That's the great thing I love about wild game. I'm going to actually add in my ketchup. There we go. Brown sugar. Apple cider vinegar. A little bit of mustard. Mix that in. Got the mixture all in. Actually add a half a bottle of chili sauce. You can pick your favorite. And then three shakes of hot sauce. This is zombie Cajun. We love this from our good friend Ricky Hooter. You can get your zombie Cajun sauce on Amazon. Add it to your pantry for all your wild game cooking. Ooh, this is smelling good. The best thing to do now is just to turn it down on a low heat and just let it sit so that all of the vinegar and the acid from all the sauces can just flavor in all with that meat. There we go, got it all cooked up. I'm gonna put it right on the burger. I personally like a Sloppy Joe barbecue sauce with some cheese. So we put cheese on our burgers. You can serve these, like I said, for your family for a large group or have ready when your hunters come in. Thank you, Marilyn Turner, for a great recipe. Sloppy Joe's from Pennsylvania. 
Remember, go to ShootStraightTV.com to log on to Recipes from the Field. Also, don't forget, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We'll see you next week. We take pride in manufacturing and producing ratchet straps that you can have confidence in with every use. We specialize in getting our customers the exact ratchet straps they need for each unique situation. Whether it's five straps or 5,000, we ensure the same quality craftsmanship for each strap. In your tree stand or on the road, when you're trusting your safety to ratchet straps, you simply have to have the best. CVA's nitride is a surface hardening process that makes our barrel steel so hard that rust cannot penetrate it, making them the only muzzle motor barrels guaranteed against rust damage inside and out. CVA, it's just a better gun. This is the Aerolite, our newest premium power belt bullet. Designed for maximum performance at moderate velocities, they're perfect for standard loads at any distance or magnum loads at long distance. Power belt, America's number one muzzle loading bullet. We got her done. Yeah. Good job. Good man. job. Yeah. Team effort. That's it. A beautiful six point bull in Montana. And we spotted these elk this morning and knew there was a good bull in there and a lot of cows. And one of these things we're debating bulls or cows. I'm like, that's a nice bull. And uh, as we sat there, he's about 700 yards. And I wasn't sure if I could get in on it. And the wind was just howling. And I will tell you folks, something that's very important is have a good hunting partner. Because what did you say? That's right, you, that's better. right. That's the best. But I said, I said, honey, you can do it. Just go for it, close the distance. And I stayed back with the camera, right. so that way only one person. And you know what? A lot of times the wind is your worst enemy. <laughs> yeah. But in this case, there was so much wind, yep. it masked any kind of noise or movement, and they just kind of stayed settled the whole time. Oh, it was it was awesome. And as I got closer, they started moving to me. And that bull was the furthest away, and then he started getting closer. And I got into about 275 to the first cows. I'm like, this might just happen. I had about 10 minutes of, of shooting light left, and you were on the camera. And I, I just said, roll it the whole time. We'll see what happens. I'm so thankful so much I got to be here with the family. Okay, and you did an awesome job. Thank you, Walker. That is awesome. And yes. Wyatt, you're right there with me. And then Marcia on the camera. I want to thank the Lord for this magnificent elk. And I can't wait to have the back straps oh, off. Oh, thanks for doing some good eating. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. And thank you for the opportunity to, to hunt these magnificent animals. You know, elk are one of my favorite animals to hunt. And uh, just to be able to be out here with my family and friends and, and sneak in on a bull and, and crawl the way we did and get in close, it's just amazing. Thank you for that and being able to make a good shot and drop this bull. And uh, thanks for the meat he'll provide all winter. In your name I pray. Amen. Mm, good eating. Bob, Bob will be waiting for us. No, we might have elk for Thanksgiving. There we're you go. Oh, yeah, and I we like that. And remember, Take time with your family to enjoy God's great outdoors. See you next week. Having a hard time getting the rest of the way. Got a ratchet strap. Ratchetstraps.com. Thank you. Ready? One, two, three. One, two. One, two. One, two. Hey, one, two, that's the finger. Oh, we got it. Oh, okay. You didn't tell that. Good job, Good job. Good job. Good job. Nice job. Good job. Nice job, Walker. Thank you, honey. You might be going, why didn't you gut him right here? Because the elk's still hanging in this area. We didn't blow him out. And I don't want a bunch of coyotes in here or mountain lions, so you know, haul them out into another area and gut it. Shoot Straight is brought to you by CVA, Powerbelt, Cabela's, Realtree Camouflage, Conus Optics, Buck Knives, Ratchet Straps USA, Hodgden Powder, 
Bitter Root Tool and Machine, Campfire Meals, Roper Apparel, The Butcher Block. Additional products provided by Browning, SKB Cases, Ashley Quarter Horse Ranch, Mallard View Outdoors, Aaron Payne DDS, Cricket Horn Outfitters, Sport Dog, Bear Archery, Closed Captioning provided by Butler Bags, the official sleeping bag of Shoot Straight TV.